Well, so, so what is the rage for justice? You just saw it in that video. It's, it's the feeling in your gut that something's wrong and you're not going to take it anymore. And you got to make it right. You gotta, you gotta have, you're going to have to fight. And you represent people who've been harmed, the public. You're not worrying about your next job. You're not worrying about your next case, your next campaign. You're representing people who need you. And those white hot embers in your belly won't let you do anything else, no less than an artist has to paint or a writer has to write. You have to act, and you do it with all of yourself. That's Rage for Justice. Rage for Justice. This is the title of the biography of Bill Burton, Philip Burton, for whom we've named these awards. Philip Burton was one of the most progressive and driven congressmen in American history, and we created the awards to honor the heroes and heroines of the public interest movement who follow in his footsteps, and tonight you're going to meet uh, a great group of them. We created these awards because we wanted to honor Burton's passionate defense of the defenseless when he was congressman and house leader. They were legendary. John Jacobs, uh, his biographer, chronicles Burton's uh, unique style as terrorizing the terrorizers, oppressing the oppressors, and that's a unique brand of advocacy we have a lot of respect for here at Consumer Watchdog. Beneath this is what unites us and the honorees tonight and Phil Burton's legacy. It's a belief in the power of public service, public representation, and I see it in so many of you tonight who've been with us over all these years, and I'm so proud to be here to celebrate with you all tonight, so thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. This is not just the 10th anniversary of the Rage for Justice Awards. It is the 30th anniversary for Consumer Watchdog. 30 years. Uh, our founder, Harvey Rosenfield, came to California with a rage for justice in his heart. He tamed the insurance industry at the ballot box and created the foundation for all of our other fights. You'll be hearing a bit about it late tonight, but whether it's beating back the batterers in the insurance industry or taking a piece out of the gougers at the gas pump or exposing the privacy pirates in the Silicon Valley, we represent those who don't have a voice and cannot fight back without us. And it's what we share with so many of you, and that's why we come together at this Rage for Justice Awards to honor that. We're a community of people who believe what's right is right and what's wrong cannot be forgotten. Now, I want to be a spoiler tonight, so I won't talk about tonight's honorees other than to say this. Bruce Brusevich, Tim and Tammy, <laughs> Tim and Tammy Smick, Al Franken. These are the type of people who you can say, I love them, and no one will look at you funny. I mean, I, I, see, I love Bruce Brusevich. Uh, I love Tammy and Tim Smick. I love Al Franken, and I just met him tonight. Uh, you can say that because they're authentic, and they always do what's right, and they're always there, and they always, when they do what's right, they always do it in exactly the right way. And that's why we love them, and that's why we're going to celebrate them tonight. The rage for justice is a fire that can warm you or burn you, depending upon what side of it you're on. Uh, by being here tonight, you help our rage for justice burn brighter, so thank you. Um, now let's get on to the first award, which is the Hall of Fame, the Consumer Advocates Hall of Fame. And uh, we're going to induct uh, Tammy, and Tim, Tim, uh, Tammy and Tim Smick in a minute. We have with us tonight a few former Hall of Famers, and I would like them to rise, and we can salute them uh, in group after they do. Hilda Sarkeesian is here tonight. So is Scott, Kathy, Stephen Olson are here tonight, the Olsons. Uh, and Michael Strumwasser and Fred Wucher are here, along with their partners who are future Hall of Famers, I have no doubt. And also tonight we have Marge Tabankin with us, a former citizen activist of the year. So thank you all for coming. Now to introduce the uh, Hall of Famers, I want to introduce a woman who, ra who has a, a very bright rage herself and is really the heart and soul day to day of consumer watchdogs. She's a warrior and she's a warrior, which is really good when you're fighting corporate America. And she's tireless and dogged and she's uh, really the future of this movement. So let me bring on Carmen Balber. <laughs> 